What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Lizard Squad. This is a name that I really haven't gotten a chance to talk about for about a year. They were very well known last year. In 2015 they uh, kind of screwed up Christmas for a lot of people. They did DDoS attacks on PlayStation and on Microsoft's Xbox, stopping tons and tons of gamers from having the opportunity to play their games. And they really got me a couple of times. A few of their DDoS attacks actually stopped me from playing my games because they did it on weekends. And they also did it during Christmas. So a lot of people who were buying new PlayStations for Christmas of 2015 were unable to play them because of these DDoS attacks. Well... Wonders never cease. It appears that two of these boneheads have been captured by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and they are under arrest. And I'm super happy to bring you guys this news. I hope they catch the rest of them because all things done in darkness come to light. I'll drop a link in the description. Two teenagers from Lizard Squad, a hacking group perhaps better known for bringing down online services like PlayStation Network and Xbox Live in 2014 and 15, have been arrested for cyber crimes. Their distributed denial of service attacks affected millions of customers and cost Sony and Microsoft a lot of money. In a report from Polygon, Zachary Bukta of Faustin, Maryland, and Bradley Jan William Von Roy of Leiden, the Netherlands, were charged by United States lawyers in federal court. The duo was charged with, quote, conspiring to cause damage to protected computers, end quote. The department also seized four domains associated with the hacking group. The Department of Justice launched an investigation into the group over a four-payment harassment service. The group's techniques used fake phone numbers to repeatedly call targets, with one victim allegedly receiving a phone call every hour for 30 days. The nature of the calls were graphic and threatening. Bukta was arrested in September and is due to appear before a judge in Chicago this week. Earlier last year, similar arrests were made in the United Kingdom. Thank goodness. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what the rulings are for these people. Uh, you know, it's one thing to go after a company. And sometimes sometimes you can Robin Hood it, you know, and, and go after companies if they do people wrong. I wouldn't really be upset if somebody went after Konami because Konami pisses me off. And they piss off tons and tons of, you know, good willing people. But to go after the actual people who've done nothing wrong serves no purpose other than to be an asshole. And when you go after the people and you basically destroy people's Christmas... You know, I don't care about Christmas. I'm 37 years old. But if, if you go after someone's Christmas, you go after children who are expecting nice things for Christmas and you really, you know, throw a monkey wrench into their memories, I think that you need to be prosecuted for it. And I'm really happy to hear that these guys have actually been caught. One in Maryland, one in the Netherlands. I got to do this name one more time. Bradley Jan William Von Roy. <laughs> That's going to be funny to hear in court. Uh, let me know in the comment section, were you affected by any of these DDoS attacks? I know that I was. I made quite a few videos about these squads and these groups, you know, doing this immature, you know, low-level kind of hack that really affected a lot of Americans and people around the, around the world, not just in America. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.